Hello and welcome to this review of the Benro tripod selfie stick. Now the reason I've got this is because I want to use it with my 360 camera. So let's do some unboxing. So in the box we have a micro USB cable, a GoPro adapter, a phone adapter with a mirror on for selfies because this is a selfie stick. And we have the selfie stick, which has a ball head on top, which has an inbuilt um, selfie trigger and has a tripod that can stand on its own. Now I'm actually going to be taking off or going to attempt to take off this ball head because I don't really want a ball head on here. I just want the end of the ball head because I'm gonna use it with a 360 camera but it doesn't look like I can take it off particularly easy, so I will do that a bit later. So the ball head's quite good. It moves around, it loosens. You can lock it. You can then move this as well if you need to, if it's getting in the way. So we can attach a GoPro using the supplied adapter, or we can attach a phone because that's the aim of the product. or you could attach a small camera if you want to. So you can hold it like this. You can, there's an on and off switch here for the Bluetooth remote, and the Bluetooth remote comes out if you want to, and it recharges via micro USB. I'm just gonna put that back in for now. So we can extend the selfie stick, and you will notice it locks in place here. Can't go any further, and it can go further and further and further out. So you can see here it can stand on its own because it has a tripod and that's really useful. The tripod component can also be used as a grip and for those people who like selfies you've got this button here to trigger your selfie. I'm going to be using this for a 360 camera rather than using it as a selfie stick although it does make a good selfie stick these adapters are always very useful for putting your phone onto a tripod. So I have here a small Canon DSLR and I'm just going to see how much the ball head can hold. Can it hold this camera? When it's fully tightened it does an okay job of holding the camera. It would do in a pinch for holding the camera to get a steady shot. Obviously you wouldn't put this on the selfie stick and extend the selfie stick because you'd be worried about your camera breaking but certainly the ball head seems good enough to hold a medium sized camera although I haven't fully tested that. So the aim is to use it with a 360 camera so that I can get the 360 camera away from me and get some good tiny planets and get a good image of what's going on. However, I don't want this ball head here. The reason is it will show up in the shot. So this will take a picture in a moment. So Mike from 360 Rumors put a good tip online of how to remove this which I'm going to follow. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to remove the ball head even by following Mike's tip of putting it in boiling water and turning it, I just couldn't remove it. I also took the selfie stick out on a windy day and I extended it as far as I could. And you can see you get this slight bowing. So I do wonder whether putting a heavier 360 camera or a heavy camera on the end or a heavy phone, if it would stand up to it, I really don't know. And you can see that even in the strong wind, it's strong enough using the tripod to hold a 360 camera without it blowing over. It doesn't look it, but it is quite windy here and it hasn't blown over. So for basic 360 work, just doing a tiny planet or putting the camera down to take a 360 image or video, it works and it's light and I would recommend it. 